About a week and a half ago, I attended a concert for my favorite band, Keen. If you're unfamiliar, they're a band from England who you should definitely give a listen. They're currently touring in celebration of the 20th anniversary of their debut album, Hopes and Fears. And so I decided to do a piece inspired by the music video for probably their most well-known song, Somewhere Only We Know. Now I want to welcome you lovely people to Laurel and Artistry. First of all, I draw the four band members. In the front, we have Tim Rice Oxley, pianist and songwriter for the band, who is wearing a big scarf. Next is their amazing singer, Tom Chaplin. Then, Richard Hughes, the drummer. And last, I draw the bassist, Jesse Quinn, who joined the band a bit later on. Adjust and sort of sketch out the background a bit to get a better idea of how I want it to look. I add in their reflections. I drew everyone, well besides Jesse, as they look in the music video. But in the reflections, I decide to draw them as they look now, 20 years later. And in the reflection, I draw Jesse walking with them. I continue sketching the background more, adding in a number of trees. Now to start on our actual drawing, as I outline everyone. You know, the first Keen concert I went to was in 2012. It's hard to believe that's 12 years ago now. But my dad took me, and it's still such a wonderful memory. Now, to erase some overlapping lines and then add in a few extra lines before I start coloring it in. This is the clothing they were in the Somewhere Only We Know video, so I try to match the colors to that. Tim's scarf isn't actually this long in the video, but it makes for a good drawing. I kind of miss the long hair Tim and Tom had. It's very hobbitish. By the way, they're walking through water, so that's why their feet are all squiggly. I end up erasing Jesse because this drawing is already going to take a long time and it's easier to just have him in the reflection. Sorry, Jesse. Now to draw the river. It's mostly just a bunch of blue squiggles in varied sizes and shades. Not that drawing water is the most simple thing. I add in a low opacity layer of a brownish color to try to make the water look more translucent. Now I shade the figures in with a flat black. I don't want them to be overly detailed. Every Keen album is special to me, but Hopes and Fears really capture something timeless. There's a real warmth to it, a comfort, a familiarity, and especially to the song Somewhere Only We Know. That song is so full of memory, it takes you back to those moments you most cherish. Times of laughter and joy and sweet company, when everything just felt right with the world at least for a moment. Those things we can never really appreciate to their fullest until we're looking back at them. I continue to work on the water, trying to get it to where I'm happy with it. I really wish I had time in this video to go through every song in Hopes and Fears and tell you all about why I love each individual one. Okay, now for the grass and trees behind them. I want this drawing to capture how hopes and fears really makes me feel, if at all possible. We'll see how well I manage. I draw the reflections of the trees, blurring them a bit. I line the grass. And then I shade it. I pretty much just continue to work on the grass and the trees for a while. I first heard of Keen around maybe 2008 or something, and since then their music has been with me through a whole lot of ups and downs. It's been like a comforting friend through the toughest times, and a cheerful companion through the brightest moments. I can't fully express how much their music has meant to me, and how it's inspired me, but the best way I know to show my love and appreciation is through art. Now to draw their reflections. These show the band as they are now, 
A lot has changed in the 20 years in their lives, I imagine, as well as in the world as a whole. The contrast of men in their 20s just starting out on their adventure with all their hopes and their fears of what the future might hold. And so quickly for them, I imagine, time goes by and now they're in their 40s. What's changed for them in those years? And what remains the same? And I just realized I'm about the same age as these guys were when they released their first album. I can't help but wonder where 20 years will take me. I suppose I'll just have to wait and see. I know Jesse's only in the reflection. I hope that doesn't come across as downplaying his role in the band. He's a lovely addition, and bands look best when they have four members anyways. I color in the reflections with slightly less saturated tones. I really hope even with my rather simple style here, that I was able to effectively depict each band member and convey the passage of time. Since they're reflected in the water, I make them a bit wavy looking. Now to turn it right side up again, make some adjustments, and then I'm gonna add a tree to the left edge in the foreground. These trees aren't the friendliest looking, I think I accidentally drew them walking through Fangorn. They should look out for ants. I add in a fallen tree, since it seemed necessary in a Somewhere Only We Know inspired piece. I submerge that in the water and brighten things up a bit. Then I add some leaves onto the tree in the foreground. I also draw some floating in the air to suggest a breeze. I give the water some bits of reflected sunlight and add some spots of sun on the trees and grass as well. Draw some beams of light streaming in. Darken the background again because I keep changing my mind about what looks best and give the sunshine a bit of a sparkle. And finally, my drawing is complete. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope I'll see you again. In the meantime, why not listen to Hopes and Fears with a nice cup of tea? Ciao!